the way I went to visit for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA Now I try to act normal, keep my cool My other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero I'm in, I'm in, I'm in In the Dino Squad I'm in, I'm in, I'm in In the Dino Squad Today on Dino Squad Five ordinary teenagers become five extraordinary dinosaurs. But can they learn to work together in time to stop the villainous Victor Velocity? Go Dino! You made it this time, Fiona, but you broke three rules to do it. No skates on school grounds. And no food in class. That's only two. Littering, three. Sorry, Ms. Moynihan. Settle down. Don't forget we'll be taking a field trip tomorrow to the tide pools, and I'll need your release forms. Yesterday, we were discussing how many animals, rather than living alone, live in groups or colonies to survive better. You could call this self-interest, but some life forms, such as ants, will sacrifice themselves for the good of the colony, and wolves will instinctively place themselves between their newborn and a threat. These traits are vital to the survival of many species, something from which even we can learn a lesson. I think you'll enjoy working at Raptodyne, Peter. Thank you, Mr. Velocity. I'm sure I will. What is this place? It's where my real work is done. These nanomachines you developed will help speed up the process of perfecting my experimental DNA, the one I intend to use to genetically reconstruct all life forms and turn them back into what they rightfully should still be, dinosaurs. Is it? So, Peter, do you want to join me and be part of the dominant species, or stick with the humans and go extinct? I got into business to swim with the sharks, not be eaten by them. I'm in. Welcome to the team. All right, let's break into our usual lab groups. You have two hours to identify as many species as you can find. And remember, if you work as teams, you'll get a lot more done in a lot less time. Team Shmeem. I'm here to check out all the cool creatures. I'll be a poster boy for cooperation. Okay, let's do this. Fiona, Buzz, and Caruso will find them. Roger, you identify them, and I'll write them down. Got it? <laughs> Come on, guys. Is anyone paying attention? Not to you. Buzz, help me out here. Get real, Jock. If I wasn't stuck in this class, I wouldn't even talk to a species like you. It's all good. I got it covered. Did a little surfing on the net last night. Printed out a list of sea creatures. This is a sushi menu. Sushi, fish, species, what's the difference? Speaking of species, we're all gonna be Biologicus Flunkimus if we don't get our act together and work as a team. Speak for yourself, I've got my act totally together. <laughs> With an emphasis on the act. Oh man. <clears throat> hey, stop slobbering up my new jacket, you ugly mutt. <laughs> Hey! Get back here! Whoa! Come back, Mutt! Hey, Fleabag! You forgot my jacket! 
Who cares about your stupid jacket? The poor thing's in trouble. Let's go rescue him. Dogs aren't a part of our assignment, Fiona. Oh, I hate it when sand gets in my underwear. Forget it. I'll do it myself. Come on, guys. Let's help. Are you gonna save the mutt, too? No, I'm gonna save my jacket. Oh, well. Last one in is a rotten egg. That's you, eggplant head. Hey, come on, cut it out. Everyone into the water. Ah! Come on, boy, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, help! Shark! 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 Hey, man. It ate your jacket. Give me that. I thought I made it clear no one was to go in the water. It was Fiona's idea. To save the dog. Well, I suppose working together to help an endangered creature is an acceptable excuse. Now, get back to work. Two, eighty-three, hut! Hit the showers, Max. Caruso, you're in. Hustle up, get out here. <laughs> Young man, in case you haven't noticed, this is a library. <laughs> Sorry. First that stupid mutt ruins my jacket, and now look what the dry cleaner did to my new one. Buzz, will you stop wasting your life away with those ridiculous video games? Sure, whatever, Mom. You all failed the tide pool assignment. Because shrimp tempura is not a species? No, because you weren't a team at all. You were just five. Huh? I know what you're hiding. We're not hiding anything. Right, guys? Yeah. Not a thing. Nope, not nothing us. to hide. I saw your claws, Max. And your tail, Fiona. You have a tail? All I got were these saggy arm thingies. They're pteranodon wings. And yours are stegosaurus spinal plates. No way, it's just a little breakout, isn't it? I wish it was that simple. But the truth is you've all been infected with virulent dinosaur DNA. How do you know all this? Who are you? I had a feeling that would be your reaction. All of you, hold hands. So, telepathically, we can all see together. 65 million years ago, an asteroid struck the Earth, wiping out all the dinosaurs. Except for two velociraptors. Over time, their genes mutated, and they gained the ability to adapt their form. You're a velociraptor. You're like a vicious carnivore. I evolved beyond that long ago. But I'm afraid another raptor didn't. He's become Victor Velossi. How's that possible? The guy's a civic leader. Yeah. He owns that big biogenetics company in Boston. 
raptor die. Because they dominated the Earth for hundreds of millions of years, far longer than man's short history, Victor believes dinosaurs are superior. What do you believe? That humans gained dominance because brute force lost out to reason and love. That's why I parted ways with Velocity long ago. But now, global warming and modern technology have allowed Velocity to improve his primordial ooze to the point that it can mutate human and animal DNA into dinosaurs. We're dinosaurs? How cool is that? But I don't want to be a dinosaur. I want to be a quarterback. This is much more important than fulfilling your personal desires. It's about saving the world. Can you cure us, Ms. M? Yes. No! Buzz is right. We gotta work together and stop Victor Velocity. How are you going to stop him? You can't even do a lab project together. I say we give our dinos a test drive. I want the cure. I, I want to be, be famous. A video game I say we hero. try it out. Enough! <laughs> I can't afford the advanced technology Velocity has, but I've managed to monitor his activities and impede him whenever I can. That's all great, Ms. M. But can we get started? Of course. This is the DNA chiller. <gasps> Relax, it won't hurt. The nitrogen will force the mutant DNA to the surface as it seeks warmth. This is the devolver. It will vacuum the frozen DNA for safe storage. That's it? That's it. Thanks. Come on, Fiona. Let's go. Oh! I thought we were cured. So did I. Research log entry 13 Alpha. Satellite scanners have located a mutant megalodon, approximately 10 meters in length. Somehow, the DNA nucleotides have been fused by gamma contamination. Your DNA is not like any other I've seen in Velocity's experimental mutants. Something's contaminated it. I'm afraid I can't cure you. What? How am I supposed to live constantly changing into a dinosaur? It'll be all right, Max. How? I can show you how to control your new abilities so that you can become dinosaurs at will. This is the sea spirit calling Kittery Lighthouse. Either we've got a new species of whale in Kittery Harbor, or the Loch Ness Monster is lost. Probably just a humpback, Ollie. But call me back if you see any mermaids. <laughs> I sure will. It's a mutant megalodon. And it's headed for the marina. Miss Moynihan, you have to stop that thing. I can't do it alone, and neither can you. But if the five of you can think beyond yourselves, perhaps we can stop it together. Guys, let's go send that monster back to the Jurassic era. No, it's no more a monster than any of you. It's just a wild animal trying to survive. You have to save it, not harm it. How are we supposed to do that? With these. The DNA chiller and the devolver. Fiona, take the DNA chiller. As long as that mutant megalodon's genes haven't been contaminated like yours, it'll do the trick. And I'll take the devolver. Uh, 
Can I borrow that when you're done? My bedroom's a mess. I'll track you on my scanner and do my best to get in Velocity's way. Take the Dino Hydro for you. Good luck. Fish species big enough to swallow us without noticing. Dead ahead. As soon as he shows his overbite, you chill him, I'll spill him. to work as a team. Fiona, you're on the varsity swim team, right? Are you willing to dive in after that chiller? No problem. Buzz, get that de Uzer thing. Caruso, Roger, and I will trap the mutant. Go Dinos! formed Spinosaurus is in the harbor. This could only be a result of my experimental DNA. Or... supposed to hurt it. Trust me, go Dino! Let's get the net. What now? Pump fake on three. One, two, three. Get prehistoric. Video games isn't a complete waste of time. You ooze, you lose. Did you see the way I duped that monstrous mutant? You? What about me? Hold it. What about all of us? Max is right. 
The real reason you were able to return that shark to its natural state without harm to you or it is because you finally worked as a team. And I'm proud of you all. Thanks, Ms. M. We couldn't have done it without you. You're the man. Er, the woman. And in Kittery Point last night, several frenzied residents reported seeing dinosaurs at the marina. But authorities report it was Tony Fine's promotion for a dinosaur of a tire sale. Look at that. Just a big balloon. Actually, Caruso, if you think about it, they're not too far off. You are full of hot air. It won't be long before I know all the details of my new dinosaur friends. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. Other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in.